In this video, I will show you how to adjust the brightness of your calculator and also show you how to um, configure the display format so um, for the, um, the way that you like. Okay. So first of all, let's go on to um, adjusting your, um, the brightness of your calculator. So we need to go to setup. So therefore, I press shift and then setup. Okay, and you can't see on your screen here, so we're gonna go down here, yeah, press this button here, the replay button going down. See number five, option number five, that's what we're looking for. Contrast. Okay, so this is what it for. So we go click on number five, and then there you go. Okay, contrast, and you got light and dark. Now, if you want dark, you click on this arrow here, keep on pressing your calculator, it will turn to a bit will increasing. From brightness to dark okay and then um, this one if you press that you should you should go to brightness okay go to brighter and the lighter if you like so that's that's all now once you're happy with it okay you just tap on the AC button okay just tap on this and that's it so you get out okay so that's that is um, adjusting the brightness of your calculator now the next thing I want to show you okay is this Okay, it is how to display your calculator. So which is we go shift setup. Okay. Now you normally normally we either you option one or two. Okay, so to display your your calculator. But the thing is this most most of people using option one because option two is it's a line line one, right? Okay, so this one here, option two is actually display in one line okay so let's say for example I've gone two for you so you can see what it's what's the different so let's say um, eight eighty eight okay I, I write over okay uh, let's say five fifty six doesn't matter see can you see it just display in single line okay which is most people don't like it okay it's hard to read this is it mean like eighty eight over fifty six is same as eleven over seven so therefore, we're gonna get up this. Okay, so we go go back, shift, set up. So we're gonna use this. Okay, this will be easier to read. Okay, so which is option one. So set your calculator in option one. So we go to one. Just tap on one. Now with one, you also have two options. So option one and option two. Now option one okay is when you do your normal calculation your answer will give in fractions all the times let me show you okay let's go we go try option one okay so which is one so let's say eight divided by nine okay so what does it give me fractions right so let's say 60 let's say 86 divided by 25 see what happened okay so which is give you fractions you see now of course you can convert into fractions just by pressing this um, SD button I mean I convert to fractions or decimal whatever you like so I convert this by pressing that see decimal now if I want Im improper um, because it's improper improper fractions if I want to go back to it you just press this again see and press that SD button it go back to decimal and then improper fractions now, because it's improper fractions, of normally we don't write an improper, so we write shift, we write mixed numeral, and then SD. You see? So you go SD, back to decimal, SD, back to improper, you want mixed numeral, you have to press shift, SD again. Okay, so that's what it is. So remember, we are on, we, we, in option one, so which is always give you in fractions. So that's why sometimes you you wonder why your calculator is keep giving your fractions. So this is why. Okay, so this is fractions. So now because most of your calculation is in decimal anyway, so we better just make it into um, decimal. So it's the answer always in decimal. So if you want fraction, just press the S S D button. Okay. So let's go back here. So what we do, we go shift, set up. Okay, we go one. Okay, so remember that. 2 is, is show you in a one single line so the fraction look funny uh, we want 1 now within this we want option 2 please set your cal calculator in option 2 it'd be 
it'd be easier for you okay I, as, as i said before the cal most of your calculation in decimal anyway right in answer in decimal so may as well put in decimal so which is two see let's say 88 divided by five okay let's see there you go decimal you see um 89 okay divided by 75 it give me decimal see now again if i want mixed numeral because this sometimes you do equation or whatever that number look funny and then you round off or if you like you can give into decimal i mean um mixed numeral so just press that or you want you want um, fractions improper fraction just press that you see so these are the functions but what's what you need to do is just go back if your calculator is not in this mode i suggest you should go to option one okay and then um, choose option two in here result in format so just to choose so that means that your calculator always display in decimal okay so it's easier for you so that's all see and um, thank you so much for watching my videos okay